Hey guys, welcome to another video here. Another vaping session. I have vaping summer, va vaping session number 100 uploading right now. I forgot to mention in the video is that Trump is the new president of the United States, which I don't get. Hillary Clinton won with the popular vote of the people. So our votes didn't really count. While we have our voting rights, why doesn't our votes count? Just the electoral college votes. Why does that matter? Why, why is there an even electoral college? You know, what is it? You know, because I see a pattern here. For every two Democrats, there's going to be one Republican in, in office. That's what I've seen in my lifespan here on this earth there's been two republic there's been two democrats and one republican and then another two and then another republican it's like a pattern two democrats one republican two democrats you know it, it, that's what i've been seeing or it's like this democrat republican democrat republican democrat republican Guys, <laughs> I mean, that's what the Electoral College is doing. Yeah, maybe vaping, but it's not a vaping session, guys. But back to the topic. Um, Donald Trump is president. He made some good points with the inaugural in, inauguration speech or whatever, but... I still don't like him as president. I like the show Celebrity Apprentice. I liked him as a celebrity. Not. Not some. Uh, politic president. Or whatnot. He's. Like I said. Months ago. About maybe. Back in July or something. I had a video saying don't vote Trump. Um, I still feel that way man. Guys, yeah, That's my opinion. Um, but he had some good arguments, you know, in his speech, but, you know, but primarily, I, I still don't like him. You know, he's right about bringing this country together, but is he going to really execute that? Is he going to really make that happen? Unite the people of the United States? You know, um... It just really, guys. I be honest. I don't think that's gonna happen, but it might happen. But under his rule, it might not happen. You know, he's he's gonna make some laws, but healthcare. He it's a it, it's a concern, yes, but. But taking health care away from people, affordable, you know, care, affordable health care insurance, he's, he's going to raise everything. He's, he, he's going to raise, he's going to give tax breaks to the rich. He's going to raise taxes for the middle class. And lower, the class, uh, and lower the tax for the rich and wealthy people. Because he don't want to pay taxes himself. Well, he's got to because presidents pay tax. I think, but I'm not too sure. But, but, but my opinion is that That he's not going to do a good job as president, but he might. He might prove us all wrong. But I don't know because there's a reason why, guys. I have this tattoo of the American flag. I'm a patriot as much as anybody else. Whoever tattoos 
the flag on their arm or any part of their body is a real and as real American as it can get. I wear this flag every darn day of the week. You may say how. I don't see red, white, and blue on you. The tattoo, man. The tattoo. I'm wearing red, white, and blue. Every day. I look at it every day and say, I'm an American. And I'm, I'm damn proud of it. But I'm not proud of the president that we have right now. You know, it, it just, with him as president, there's been so much chaos, even after he won the election months ago, back in October. Now in Washington, D.C., yesterday, now it's past midnight here, yesterday, on January 20th, On January 20th, there were so many people uh, smashing windows, doing everything. Smashing windows, uh, starting cars on fire. Is that how America, America is really going to be with him as president? Full of chaos? That's the way I'm seeing it. He don't see where he don't see what I'm seeing. And I can predict this. He's going to get so frustrated and so, you know, overwhelmed with the, uh, with his job. He's going to end up stepping down. He's not a polit he's not a politic man. He wasn't any governor, senator, or even mayor of anywhere. You know, I would rather have like I said to my father earlier, I'd rather have a monkey as a president than him, you know. I <laughs> orangutan has better smarts than he does, but that's my opinion. You have yours, it's what America is about. You have your right to speak in however you want. You have the right to vote for whoever you want. But I'm just giving you my opinion. You may not have to agree with anything that I'm saying in this video. You don't have to like it. But, but I'm putting it out there for you guys. I'm throwing it out there, my opinion. I'm doing it like an American would. YouTube is global. Nation, national, you, however you want to look at it. YouTube, every video that I upload on this channel goes out to the whole entire world. And hopefully that shows people, maybe my opinion is strong enough to make people realize Trump is going to ruin America. He may say, make America great again. No, he's going to make it worse. He's going to divide the country even more than it already is. He's already made fun of a disabled person in the crowd. He, he, he was just imitating on how he was towards me. Imitating is just uh, is bullying and he's a big bully. Now I can already see we're going to lose so many allies, other foreign countries that are our allies. You know, it might happen. We might lose our allies that we've had so for so many years. You know, I, you never see me like this, but in other vaping sessions or anything, or any other live streams or anything, but I'm trying to tell you how it is. I'm getting down to the truth. You may not like to see the truth. You may not like how I'm speaking right now. But that's... If you're a true fan, 
of me, you would, you know, see where I'm coming from. You don't have to agree with me, but you just got to understand where I'm coming from with my freedom of speech rights. Because I'm an American. You know, it, it just... I like to give out my opinions and everything. I understand that people are not going to agree with every opinion that I have. I understand people are not going to like my opinions but it's my opinion <laughs> you know you may you know I respect you may not agree with it or like it but but it's my opinion man that's all there is to it it's a first amendment of the United States. But let me tell you a bit of, bit of a story um, about me getting this tattoo. The wolf. I'm going to tell you the meaning behind my tattoo, which is the story. The wolf shows my passion, strength that I have. And the flag represents my country. I represent my country every darn day of the week. Every darn day of the year. Every darn day of the century. Every darn day. On July 6th of 2015, I've been carrying this flag with honor and pride and respect. That, <laughs> guys, I, I ain't kidding when I say I have pride, honor, and respect for the American flag. The red, white, and blue with with the all 50 stars representing the 50 states. You know, I'm, I do what American would. I'm standing up for America right now. You know, people look at it and say, hey, you know, a half like Democrats are going to be like, we're in a dilemma right now because we got Trump, a Republican, in office. Well, here's how I look at it. He's in office. And I'm a Democrat, but... But the thing is... You know, he had some good points, like I had, like I had stated in in my, you know, earlier on in this video. He had some good, powerful statements, and you know, and I agree with some of them. I don't agree with. You know, there are some people that are in welfare that can no longer work. Like, here's what I'm gonna get into right now: is these veterans that come back hurt and injured, you know, with amputated limbs and everything. Is he going to send those veterans back to work when they can't? Some of them have no arms. Some of them have no legs. So how are they supposed to work? I respect those men and women that are protecting this great country. America has it has had its ups and down moments in in history, but that's not going to stop America from being from being good, from being great. You know, if he can be president, I can be president. You know, that, that's how I look at it. If he can run for president and he's not a senator, or mayor. Or, or, uh, anything else like that. He's not a politician. He had none of those offices. 
He's just a billionaire. You know, Hillary Clinton actually was the Speaker of the House at one point. You know, it, it just really... Um... There's going to be more crime than than there is now with him being in presidential, you know, office. We're going to lose so many people from America. It's not going to even our our population. The United States population is going to decline about twenty five percent. I'm just predicting the percentage here of Americans going over to Canada or even more than that they're going to go to Canada or a different country because they don't want to be anywhere near the United States with Trump around because Trump's going to open up some things that like they're going to start wars you know possibly start wars and everything I'm just talking on how I feel, man. It's it's how you know this is a bit of a rant video, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it just really any assign any signs in a of repeal. Of Obamacare, and it's the first document he signed. A repeal of Affordable Care Act, or whatever. That was the first thing that he did when he sat sat in that chair in the White House. He that's the one document that he read. The other documents that I seen. He was reading, he didn't read it, he just signed the big sheets of paper. He didn't know what the heck he was signing. He was just signing away, he wasn't reading. But when it came to the repeal, he was reading every thing that was on that sheet of paper. You know? What smarts is that? You read everything that you're going to sign. You read everything that you're going to sign. That, he, Obama, when Obama was, Barack Obama was president, he actually read the documents, repeals. You would either veto them or sign it. He read it full. In full, man. You know, I know this is a long rant video, but guys, you just gotta understand where I'm coming from. You know, because I read, I would, you know, a couple buddies of mine say I would be a better president than Trump's going to be. And I'm like, to them, I don't have any experience with politics. They said, well, you still make a good president because you have some good views. You know, you put other people before yourself. And you put the country for anything else, and that's what Trump said, but that's what Trump said in his speech, that he'd put America first, but I don't think so. He's going to put himself before America. That is what I truly feel, that he's going to be putting, you know, his, my opinion is that he's going to put himself before America. You know, before, you know, after him, America. He'll deal with America. 
after he's done with his problems, he, you know, just hopefully America only has to suffer for four years, or maybe less, if he gets impeached, or he set, or he cracks under the pressure and steps down. You know, people said that Trump or Obama did a terrible job. That's where my and other crucial opinion comes in. He did a great job. He he did a lot of things. Minimum wage is starting to go up very slowly, very slowly but surely. Um. Minimum wage is going up. He created tons more jobs. I don't know what those jobs are, but but those jobs he did create. Whatever jobs they are, from what I know. You guys, you guys got to face the facts. That he's a billionaire and he's been only thinking about himself. He doesn't care what America is or he don't know probably the American history. You know, I was doing some intelligence testing that you would have to go through in order to become president. Like, go back way in time. One of the best presidents that was not alive for him being president, or one of the best presidents that I heard of, is Abraham Lincoln. He did a fine job. He he made slavery go away. He abolished slavery. I wish Martin Luther King was still alive. And he would run for president. He he would make a perfect president. From what I've seen with the speech, I have a dream. Now, that it would be a, a perfect president. He fought for what he believed in, which is rights. He wanted voting rights, he wanted to end segregation. And look what happened segregation was ground to a halt. So, like, blacks would have to go to a different school, and whites had to go to a different school. Well, that ended. A couple friends, or actually a couple classmates of mine actually are black. And I talked to them, but if it wasn't for Martin Luther King, that wouldn't happen. Or Abraham Lincoln. Look at the America's history. Before you start, oh, saying, oh, Trump's oh, Trump, Trump's a man. He's the man. Well, I got news for you. He's gonna do a lot of harm to the environment. He wants to uh, drill for gas or oil or whatnot, or whatever you wanna call it. You know, I don't think that's right, what he wants to do. He wants to take away the environment. You know, it, it just really... He wants to have everything in America. What American makes. Just what American makes.
Who don't like tacos? Besides vegetarians. You know? That's going to be stopped. <laughs> you know? It's going to be mainly American food. In the United States. That's how I'm thinking. It's going to go. But. That's just my opinion. And Chinese food. I'm not a big fan of Chinese food, but I know other Americans love Chinese food. So, what I didn't like, what Trump said in this speech, I'll let you go. I'll let you guys go in a few minutes here. But what I did not like, what Trump said in his speech, he said, it "Doesn't matter if you're black, brown, or white." We come together. That he shouldn't have said. Say, uh, you know, black, brown, white. He should have said all American people should come together. No matter the race. You know, and not throw a racial, racist, or racial thing in there. That. Really, I rolled my eyes at that. I'm like, why are you being like that? Why, why did you just say that line? Or that sentence? You know, I... And I saw a couple of these, you know, not to be racist here, but this is how I'm going to say it. A couple of these black soldiers, when he said that, they they looked dumbfounded. Like, why did he just say that? Like, why? <laughs> That's how one look I had on my face when he said that. And you know, and you know something. America was founded actually by the natives, Native Americans, the Indians. They crossed over the land bridge and discovered America before Christopher Columbus came across from wherever he came from. And that is the one part of history I don't want. No, I don't remember, but I remember that. From what I learned from my high school, that the Native Americans were here first, before the Pilgrims came over and took over. So don't, don't, don't you guys say that? Oh, Christopher Columbus is a founder of the of America. No. No, that is wrong. The natives founded America. They discovered America way before anybody else. That's the other part of the wolf of my tattoo. Is support the natives. As well because that's why they call them Native Americans. Why would they call them Native Americans, if they are not Americans, that, that just, that just weird, <laughs> that just, you know, mind boggling, if they weren't Americans, why would they call them Native Americans, but they are, they're Native Americans, because they are the natives of this country, they founded the country, the Indians, they crossed over the land bridge, hunting food, and that's when they founded America. You know, and a lot of natives were killed. Then a peace came between the pilgrims and the Indians, you know. Because I watched a little bit of a movie when, when I was in high school and everything. But, but guys... I'm sorry I kept you for a half hour, but I just wanted you guys to know my opinion about 
everything that happened. This is probably one of the longest videos you'll ever see on my channel. This is probably going to take about a half hour to upload, but I don't care. But um, I just want you guys to understand and respect my opinion. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. God bless America.